Today we are going to the Dakota Outdoor Gun Dog Series Finals in Dallas, South Dakota. This hunting competition for upland bird dogs consists of singles and doubles in the flusher and pointer division. All a friendly competition where youth, puppy, amateur, ladies and the pros are a part of this tournament series. The goal is to hunt, flush, shoot and retrieve to hand in this sportsman and companion competition all on today's Wild Dakota. Whoa! Whoa! Boy! We love this family celebration which we have every year. Dad, tea for dad! Got to experience it with my son, that's the most important thing. The big fish, this guy bit right at the boat. Adios. Let me go sit by him. Good luck to you guys. The big as me, baby! Down he went. Alright. Here, Tank, right here. Tank, here. Good boy. I guess I got to be the lucky one. That is a nice walleye. Brown trout on a fly rod. Look at that. You can't do this at home on the couch. Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine's Wild Dakota is presented by Gary's Gun Shop, where the shooter shops, G.A. Johnson Construction, Experience Builds, Sioux Empire Safari Club International, Top Gun Hunting Ranch, your home away from home, North Central Chapter of Paralyzed Veterans, River Rock Lodge, the finest hunting and lodging, the Missouri River Watershed Coalition, Ring Neck Retreat, a true bird hunting experience, Extinct, the Outdoorsman's Advantage, Vortex Optics, Corbon Ammunition, Dakota Grills, DRC Call Company, Bob's Custom Meats, and Garrett's and Sportsman's Club. Welcome to Wild Dakota, Derek. First, we want to get to the five W's of the who, what, when, where, and why of the Dakota Outdoor Gun Dog Series. Can you fill us in on that? I sure can. Who, of course, is the Dakota Outdoor Gun Dog Series. It's a tournament hunting series. We're not field trials. We're not out there judging the dogs. It is a team event, which is your, yourself and your shooting abilities matched with your dog's hunting abilities. However, it is competitive. It's also in a very friendly uh, type setting and, and environment. What can we expect when we head down to South Fork for this? You can expect very comfortable accommodations, a very large yard to run your dogs in. Uh, they have uh, meals there that are, that are really great. Uh, they put on a banquet that is second, second to none, I feel. Okay, so you pretty much got all the wrinkles ironed out on this thing. We do. We're, it runs smoother every year. Okay, then we want to get to the win. The win in this year, upcoming year, is April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Okay, and the last one, of course, is why? Why? So we can spend more time after the hunting season is all over out there in the field hunting with our dogs that we care so much about. There are several different divisions in this gun dog series. What about the youth division, Derek? It's the future of the sport. We need to see these young people out here running these dogs. We start off our first uh, youth run here with Ben Pfeiffer running the, one of the family dogs, Bud, uh, mentored by Steve and Jeff Foster, longtime veterans of the Bird Dog Challenge. I'm doing a youth run for the first time ever. Pretty excited. My dog's name is Bud. He's a yellow lab, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Stop it in your pocket and just go. Bud, oh, oh. Bud, Bud. Time. Well, we just finished up run. I have 408 for my time. I could probably try to take my time on a few more shots, but I did for the first time. I didn't think it was too bad. Some of the other divisions we have in this is, is the puppy division. Give us a little insight on that. The puppies is for any dogs 24 months of age as of January 1. It's a great place for dogs to start, players to start, but it doesn't mean these dogs can't get out there and run with the big dogs as well. Who's our competitor? We have Tom Dew with his dog Reba. Uh, Tom runs to most all of our tournaments in the dog series and he's a steady competitor. He's always right there playing for the top places. Let's see how he does. My name is Tom Dewar from Big Stone City, South Dakota, and my dog is named Reba. Find him. Here, here, heel, here. Oh, oh, not. Obviously, there wasn't two birds sitting together, but that's okay. This is her first uh, completed hunting good season. Good girl, here, good girl. Oh, I think she's doing pretty good. I like the run. Clean. I don't know what my time was yet, but I'm pretty happy with her how old she is. Those were both great divisions to watch. When we come back, we'll be in the singles pointer division. This portion of Sanford's Wild Dakota is presented by Cartridge World, Why Pay More to Print, Appliance Repair Specialists, 3D Enterprises, Under the Hood Nationally Syndicated Talk Radio with Motor Mechanics, Interstate Batteries, Every Battery for Every Need, and Muth Electric. 
expectations. Getting better every day. It doesn't happen by chance. Preparation pays off. So the only question to ask yourself is, am I better today than I was yesterday? Exceed yesterday. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. River Rock Lodge is the place to hunt, fish, and hold family or corporate functions. 2,000 acres of prime pheasant habitat provides the ultimate in wild pheasant hunting. With over 2,000 wild birds harvested each year, you'll be sure to have a memorable hunt. Relax at our base camp between hunts. Here we serve hot lunches and package your birds for transport. If fishing is in your future, we can take you to South Dakota's prime fishery, the Missouri River. Let us be your one-stop event center. Just minutes away from the Pier Airport, River Rock Lodge has it all. The Garrison Sportsman's Club is a complete modern facility located off I-90 exit 410, then 5 miles north. We offer a variety of opportunities for the sportsman. Trap leagues are available throughout the year. An indoor pistol range and the area's largest up-to-date rifle range, 50, 100, 200 yard ranges, allow for you to sight in your rifle to actual distances. The range is secure for your convenience and protection. This fall, have the confidence your firearm is accurate. The rest is up to you. Garrison Sportsman's Club, where good friends meet. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy duty welded steel deck, professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. This changes everything. Dennis, time to put your toys away. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Gary's Gun Shop in Sioux Falls and Winter, where the shooter shops. Home to an impressive selection of over 3,500 new and used guns, plus ammo, scopes, and indoor range and all the accessories. Shop Gary's in Winter for your shooting needs, along with fishing rods, tackle, live bait, western saddles, and accessories. We're family owned and operated with many years of experience to assist you. Gary's Gun Shop, where the shooter shops. 905 West 41st Street, Sioux Falls, and Gary's 2 on Main Street in Winter. Well, we just finished up the puppy and the youth divisions. What's the next one that we're gonna see? We're gonna go into our single pointer division. This division is a little bit different in the fact that the dog has to establish point for three seconds before the player can move in and flush the bird to make the shot. And at that point, the dog has to retrieve to the place the shot was taken from. There are several competitors in this division. Who's up first, Eric? Up first, we have Floyd Meeks with his German short haired pointer, Ruger. Uh, Floyd's a longtime BDC player and a veteran, he should put together a pretty good run here. Let's watch him see how he does. My name's Floyd Meeks, this is my dog Ruger. Uh, we're field A point uh, singles. Pretty decent run going. Uh, had a bird up and walking and uh, it kind of bumped on us instead of holding steady for us. So uh, we'll get penalized for the bump, but we still killed three birds and, and put up a pretty decent time. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just great to be out here. And, morning and it's not snowing and uh, and dogs are running good so. Floyd had a pretty nice run and I think he set the bar pretty high for the rest of the guys. So who's next to follow him? Next we have Bill Burner from Iowa. Bill Burner is a longtime BDC competitor and veteran. He also hosts a lot of uh, BDC events down there in Iowa. My name's Bill Burner from Beulah Ridge Kennel, Lamona, Iowa. This is my bird dog, Beulah Ridge Lily. Tough field, we, were, we started out wind directly behind us, it's snow spitting. Uh, we like, we like to, to start a field into the wind, but uh, uh, it was tough going. So my goal when we got halfway through the field was get to the end and bring it back into the wind. Bill didn't do too bad. He set the bar kind of high, just like Floyd did before him. So who's up now? We have a lot of good, tough competitors out there, but here comes Craig Steinbach from Thorpe, Wisconsin, uh, the owner of Flying gun kennels and professional dog trainer, longtime BDC veteran. 
he's going to show us how things are done here, possibly. This is going to be a tough competitor. I can just tell by all his credentials. My name's Craig Steinbach. I'm from Thorpe, Wisconsin. Come all the way to over here. Drove about nine hours to run my dog Cash. Cash is actually owned by a client of mine. His name is Richard Sipes from West Virginia. We went out in the field and um, Cash overran his nose a little bit. I don't know if setting conditions are a little bit hard right now or or what, but I hate to make an excuse, but it just it wasn't that good of a run. He only found two out of the three birds and that's the way it goes sometimes. Win some, lose some. Craig also is right in there with him. Now these competitors are really close neck and neck. Who do we have next? Well, we can see they're all bringing their A game. Next we have Scott LaPlante from Minnesota with his German short hair pointer, Lincoln. I'm sure he's gonna show us the same type of fierce com com competition here. You know, I love watching these German short hairs point. Let's watch them. Hi, my name's Scott LaPlante from Elk River, Minnesota. The dog I'm running today is Lincoln. Shot the first two birds pretty, pretty quick, pretty clean. Second bird got up into the wind pretty quick. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with it when uh, swinging with it. it. Took me two shots to bring it down. This last bird had us puzzled, fooled. We tracked that thing all over this field and uh, finally caught up with it. And uh, we're able to get in a bag. So pretty happy about at least getting all four birds in the bag. Now that we're done with the pointer division, there's one more class in this division. Tell us about it. We have our single flushers. Now this is a little different than the pointers in the fact that the flushing dogs can charge in and catch the bird or they can put it up and let the competitor shoot it. This is a little more fast paced and a lot, a lot quicker action. Okay, now that sounds like it's really interesting when the dog can even catch a bird. Yes. Who's first? Matt Larson from Rapid City with his dog Rusty, a yellow lab. While relatively new to the game, Matt has proven that he can get out there and compete and run with just about anybody out there. Let's see what he can do here. I'm Matt Larson from Rapid City, South Dakota. I'm running Rusty. The gate bird went pretty good. We got that, you know, fairly fast. The second bird, he got out a little bit on me and um, usually he starts to get pretty birdie when he gets on a bird and he just ran by that one and bumped it. And so it was quite a ways out and missed that one. And then uh, just took him a while to find that last third bird. He just uh, couldn't quite get on well, it. They must have a lot of birds West River so they can do a lot of upland game hunting. Who's next, Gary? Next we have a Minnesota player coming in, John Tuma, with his dog Brooks, a yellow lab, veteran BDC. Brooks has proven herself every time I've seen her. She gets out there and she shows that she can compete with any dog we put out there. John Tuma, Brooks. Brooksers, come here little buddy. Heel. First bird went real nice, took me a little bit to find it. Uh, he, I thought it was a little bit deep, a little bit shallower than I thought, but we got to it. Bird two got up, didn't clear his head right away at a weight. Took the shot real close and couldn't come up with bird three. I don't know where it was at. Struggled a little bit. That's about it. We've had a lot of exciting runs so far and a lot of good competitors. When we come back, you're going to see the singles flushers. Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine's Wild Dakota is sponsored in part by Rad Bortum's Channel Seed, American Family Insurance, the Mike Tejan Agency, Catula, Tools to Master Winter, Precision Reloading, Scott Bolte Sanitation, and Central Plains Taxidermy. At Cartridge World, we're so confident in our products that we back up every cartridge with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Why spend big money on new printer cartridges when you can save up to 50% by using refilled or remanufactured cartridges from Cartridge World? And we offer free pickup and delivery to most businesses. We're environmentally friendly too, so you'll save money and help save the planet. Affordable, green, and guaranteed. Cartridge World. The Outdoor Adventure provides hunting and fishing adventures for youth under the age of 25 with life-threatening illness. We also provide adventures for combat disabled veterans under the age of 40 that are wheelchair bound or have lost a limb during active service. Consider, if it's your child fighting an illness from day to day or a service person returning to a totally different outlook on life, would you help someone you don't know that wishes they could do what their friends take for granted? Here's your opportunity. We hope to fill dream adventures for these individuals from South Dakota and our area. With your help, we can continue to make dreams come true. 
The all-new Bob's Custom Meats is located one block east of the convenience store on 241st Street, Chester, South Dakota. We will process your wild game, domestic, fish, or poultry into the best flavored meat available. From start to processed end, we cut, wrap, steaks, chops, and roasts. You can choose from our long list of processed meats, such as sticks, brats, jerky, sausage, and smoked meats. Bob's Custom Meats' new location, one block east of the convenience store on 241st Street, Chester, South Dakota. The Sioux Imp Bar Chapter of Safari Club International's Banquet is April 26th at the Ramcota Exhibit Hall. This fundraiser goes to finance SCI and Sioux Empire Chapter's many projects. Money raised will promote youth hunter education, wildlife projects, conservation, and much, much more. Events to include a live and silent auctions, raffles, and a winner-take-all table. Help preserve and defend today's outdoors for tomorrow's generation. Join the concerned growing number of sportsmen and women April 26th at the Ramcota Exhibit Hall. We're at South Fork Lodge watching the Dakota Outdoor Gun Dog Series. Derek, who do we have next? Is this some guy that we've seen before? Up next we have myself with, with uh, the dog Scooter. He's uh, got a lot of tournament breeding behind him. He always puts together a good show. It's a matter of whether I can shoot my birds or not. Fun to watch and fun to hunt behind? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see how you do. <laughs> I tell you, it started off really, really good uh, other than Scooter got on the, the gate bird, the front bird real fast, and I turned my head for just a second to look down the field. He put it up, I wasn't quite ready, I missed the shot. Uh, we got our back middle bird and back bird real quick and we had to come all the way up to the front. We lucked out and found a residual bird or an extra. Other than that, we wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have got our three birds if it weren't for that. Well, Derek, you've proved that a country kid from Hitchcock can do well in this. Who are you competing against next? Next we have up Jim Farmer with a real young dog, Springer Spaniel, named Jackson. Jim is a long time player, been playing dogs ever since we started it. Not to mention he does most of our photography and does a great job of it. Let's see how he can put, how he can put yeah, it run let's together Let's see today. if he can film and hunt. You ready? Jackson out. That was my first run of the day with Jackson, two-year-old Springer. Uh, he did real good. I was happy with him. My shooting can, could be better, but the dog saved me on that last one. He run it down, so I got my three birds and five minutes, so great run for me and Jackson. Well, Jim seems to be doing well. He can film and he is a great competitor. Now the next guy is kind of a local boy, right? Yes, this is uh, Rick Lutt, manages South Fork Lodge. He's been a long time player in the BDC and the dog series since the beginning. He brings to the field a little different dog. She's uh, a, a lab wire hair cross and probably one of the toughest competitors we've had in the dog series. So a mixed breed can also compete in this zone? Yes, sir. Oh, let's see how they do. Rick Lutt, running Keach. Drop. Here, here, here. Well, the run didn't go too good. Uh, gonna find my gate bird. Uh, uh, found the second, third bird, pretty good time. Just struggled and never did find that gate bird. Okay, now you might say maybe these local boys do have an advantage. Now we got another guy coming up that's a local boy too and is a big help to you, right? Yes, Dean Manning, he'll be bringing his dog May to the field. Uh, Dean guides uh, ring neck retreat with myself as well as uh, he helped us develop and get the dog series up and going. Uh, he's our field marshal and uh, he's our leading our single flusher points coming into this tournament. We'll see if he can uh, keep it going and, and win that dog of the year. Okay, let's root for Dean and May. Let's root for him. Maybe a worst run for the year, but she found all three birds. I messed up and missed the third bird. And it flew a quarter mile away. She was on it, but it went over a hill and she lost sight and track of it. And didn't get far enough out to catch wind of it. So I'd say it was my bad. But we got a couple more runs yet today. So we have plenty of time to redeem ourselves. We got the bad one out of the way right away. Next we have uh, Jeff Foster from Nebraska. Uh, Jeff's been playing the game a long time as well. He brings their family dog, Bud, a yellow lab to the field. Bud's always right in there pushing for number one spot every time. You gotta like the name Bud, right? You gotta like Bud. <laughs> Let's see Bud. Here! Just had a singles flusher run with a dog oh. named Bud. Uh, had an okay run, just got a, with the oh, wind, nice. just got went past a bird and had a double back to find it. So 
We'll see how tomorrow goes and put two scores together. So. Jeff had a really neat run. Now, it's really fun to see father-son teams come into these tournaments. Who do we have as the father? Next, we have Steve Foster up, running the same dog, Bud. Steve and, and Jeff have always been known as some of the toughest uh, competitors that are in the doubles division, and they're fierce competitors also in the, in the singles. Okay, so now one quick note here. You can run the same dog with two different hunters? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see how he does the second time. What? Here, here, but here, here. Get it, bud, get it. We went out, uh, we just wanted to get all of our hey, smaller hey, hey, birds. Hey. Had a little trouble on the second bird, but yeah, other than that, hey, everything hey, went hey, pretty hey, good. Right here. But, uh, I think 425, something like that. So, not too bad, did all right. Well, these are all great runs, and it's even more neat when you get to see a father-son compete. Yes, we need to see a lot more of the father-son uh, competing as well as husband or wife. Let's get the whole family involved. That would sound like a plan. When we come back, you're going to see the doubles division. This portion of Sanford's Wild Dakota is presented by Trans Freight and Logistics. Sue Alignment keeps you running straight. Mobile Works, your auto media specialist. Van Eye Construction. Signs Plus Graphics. Bot Machine. And the South Dakota Outdoor Adventure Foundation. Gary's Gun Shop, where the shooter shops. Exceeding expectations. Getting better every day. It doesn't happen by chance. Preparation pays off. So the only question to ask yourself is, am I better today than I was yesterday? exceed yesterday. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. G.A. Johnson Construction is your next full-service contractor specializing in general construction, design, build, and construction management. G.A. Johnson has led the industry for over 30 years in local, public, and private projects. Their team approach provides knowledge and experience with the end result of a project designed, built, and delivered on time and on budget. Thousands of students, retailers, law enforcement, fire and rescue, and professionals rely on G.A. Johnson's quality built construction. Get your quote today. G.A. Johnson Construction. Experience builds. The Dakota Grill is the ultimate inconvenience for the novice or gourmet chef. It grills, smokes, barbecues, or bakes and quits when the food is done. Our patent pending electric grill provides unparalleled convenience with no flare-ups ever. Made of the highest quality materials to last a lifetime. Dakota Grills taste the innovation. Top Gun Hunting Ranch is located in the legendary pheasant belt of South Dakota where you will hunt a variety of habitat that creates a haven for pheasants. Abundant ringnecks provide the excitement of the flush challenging the most accomplished wing shooter. Transportation to and from the fields is provided while seasoned guides and championship dogs complete your memorable day of pheasant hunting. Top Gun also provides spacious, comfortable lodging with mouth-watering down-home country cooking. Lifelong memories await in the fields and wetlands of Top Gun Hunting Ranch, your home away from home while hunting. The North Central Chapter PVA programs are funded through 100% tax-deductible contributions from generous Americans like you. The chapter works to maximize the quality of life for its members and all people with spinal cord injuries and disabilities as a leading advocate for health care. Since our founding, PVA's programs and activities have expanded dramatically in size and scope to meet the needs of paralyzed veterans and all other Americans with disabilities. Log on to ncpva.org to learn more and say thanks with your generous donation. This portion of Wild Dakota is presented by Ringneck Retreat. One of South Dakota's prime hunting destination offers a genuine bird hunting experience. Veteran owner Derek Cheddar has 30 plus years of guiding to make your getaway a success. Join our tradition and relax in our comfortable, rustic hunting lodge. The doubles division is coming up next. Tell us a little bit about the doubles. The doubles adds a little, a whole new level of excitement to the game where you throw in an extra player, you have one dog. Up first we have myself, Derek Cheddar, and Dean Manning with my dog Scooter. Uh, we haven't run doubles for a long time. We've really been looking forward to this. My name's Derek Cheddar, Hitchcock, South Dakota. Dean Manning, Chancellor, South Dakota. 
We're getting ready to do a doubles run here with cash. You know what started out real quick? We had our front two birds and nothing flat, and the center bird come real quick after that. We struggled a little bit in the back corner. The Whoa, we got him on whoa. the right side of the wind on that bird. He picked it up. Dean made a couple nice shots and a couple Good birds. Boy, brought him in, flushed, brought him into that last corner. Found that one real quick once we brought him in there. Clean run, all birds. Yep. It's all matters. Very good. Who's up next? Next we have, uh, again, uh, Craig Steinbach with his dog Madeline, which is a Hall of Fame dog in the Bird Dog Challenge, with his partner Jerry Brost. Let's see how these guys can do in a pointer run. Uh, they've been 